Nashville, whether you're looking for a bargain on eBay, browsing for books on Amazon, or planning to feast at the latest up-and-coming restaurant, reading reviews are often part of consumer research. Yeah, but when it comes to product praise, how can you tell if a positive write-up is legit or is it fake? For more on this, we're joined by consumer expert Joe Yuchukolo. Great to see you again, Joe. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Uh, let's break it down. How, in your opinion, can you spot a fake review? Starting with, I guess, language. What are the red flags? Yeah, so obviously bad grammar and bad spelling is a tip-off. But some of the other things... A tip-off that it's... That it, it's probably a fake review. Well, why? why? That, wouldn't that mean... Because all my, emails, <laughs> all my emails have got bad spelling and grammar. Yes, but uh, it, it's out of, yours is out of laziness, I assume, Larry. Right. But a lot of the times we will pay people who don't... You're talking about shores. having it done offshore or something. Exactly right. right. Okay. Oh. So bad language. Um, and, okay. and also if they use the whole product or service name, if they haven't abbreviated it like us busy people do, um, they're, they're generally the, the easy to, to read okay. signs. But they might even go into some marketing speak or use some, some words off the website. Site. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Well, what about timing and, and the number of re reviews, for instance? Yeah, so it's good to look for businesses that have got more than 50 reviews. That probably means that they're a bit more legitimate. And, and some other tricks that you can see if someone's leaving fake reviews is have a look of all the reviews being done around the same time. Does the username itself have a few extra digits at the end? That could indicate that a robot has actually created those reviews. A robot? Yes, we have, yes. we have a robot reviewing this show. <laughs> <laughs> Offshore. Um, yeah. Okay, so that, that's a way to spot if it's been a, a dummy, d dummy uh, review, is it? Yes. Yeah. Yep, okay. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Great. Okay. <laughs> is it? Is there such is there such thing as uh, fake negative reviews? We pointed to that in the in the promo. I didn't quite understand that. Yeah. So what happens? Reviews are big business. If you go into a store, chances are you are on your smartphone looking at reviews for that product before you buy. You trust online reviews more than you trust the salespeople. That's what the surveys say. So what competitors are now doing is posting fake reviews on their competitors to sort of detract. From their product oh. itself, so you buy, you know, buy from them instead of the. the so it's getting to a point where we actually can't believe any of that stuff. That's right? right. It just gets a bit more complicated. Yeah. Okay. What are some other tricks to check if reviews are legit? So there's a great website called Fake Spot, and if you're looking at Amazon or Yelp reviews, you can type in the products there, and it'll tell you how likely the reviews are to be real or not. There's another great tip that um, you know how you can just sort of sense that the picture is not quite a legitimate picture that's used alongside a review. You. If like you, it's used from a Kleenex commercial exactly. or something, right? Yeah, so okay. what you can do is actually right-click on that image and do a Google image search, and it'll show you how many times that image has appeared elsewhere. So you can sort of see if it's popping up a lot of places. And also what I love to do is pull out a particular phrase, if you think this review is either too good or too bad to be true, and, and put it into like a Google search engine and see how many other times that's appearing. Oh, wow. But something like wonderful service, it's, it's have to be something more specific yeah. than that. Yeah. And that's what you'll see with the fake reviews. It's, it's how much effort have they gone into. Yeah. Uh, too much effort or too little effort. Got to go. Good info. Thank you, Joe.